So in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a cookbook. This is the first of a series of videos. Here, I'm first going to show you how to create a list with, say, recipe titles. Okay, that's the very beginning. So in Android Studio, I went ahead and went to File and then Create a New Project. And this is the window that I get. I'm just going to call this Cookbook. Make sure it's saved in some directory that you recognize, and this company domain can be anything you want. Now, my minimum SDK is going to be Lollipop. That's fine. I'm just going to leave everything to the defaults. And I'm going to start with an empty activity. Android Studio offers you a blank activity. I'm not going to do that one because then I'll have to remove this little plus sign. I'm just going to start with an empty activity. I'm going to create this from scratch. There's a once you understand how to create it from scratch, it is not hard to create it with a master detail flow. Okay, but I'm going to start from scratch with an empty activity. And I'm going to click next. My main activity name is going to be called oops, recipe, recipes activity. And it's going to have a layout file. By now, with other videos, you should know what the layout file, the XML layout file is. I click OK, and it's initializing a lot of the a lot of the activities configuring stuff and here's my project alright so very quickly the, the great list is still executing some tasks but very quickly I'm gonna create the list view of my layout and access it from my uh, main activity so I'm gonna go to my rest directory here layout open my activity recipes layout I'm gonna to go to design view there and I'll delete this hello world and I'm gonna put a list view right here at the top corner that encompasses the whole screen then I'm gonna go in the text the XML view for this layout and I'm just gonna change the name of this list view into recipes oops list view Okay, that's what I'm going to name it. There's nothing else I'm going to do. Now I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my activity, and in here I'll create a global variable to hold those recipes. It's going to be of type list view because that's the kind of component that I have. I have to import it. Control space will take you to this little drop-down box. Click on that, and now it's imported. I'll call this recipes. It's my global variable. Then I'm going to say recipes. It's going to be a list view that comes from the object returned by find view by ID. Okay. And the element that I'm going to try to find is the recipes list view. Now, I want to populate that list with some titles of recipes. So I'm going to start with a string array <clears throat> um, called titles. I'm going to have a, um, say for example, goulash, lemon chicken, and Italian sausage. I'm just going to start with three. Now, <clears throat> For my list to understand this, I need to, um, for the recipes list, to display these things, I need to com I need a bridge in between, and that's called an adapter. So I'm going to have an array adapter. That's a class that comes with um, with with uh, the Android development kit. An array adapter is an adapter that can take in, in this case, a string array and pass it to the recipe so they're displayed. So I'm going to call this adapter, not very original with names, and this is a new a new array adapter of string with the activity that is the parent of, of, of this content, the layout of each cell, the layout resource for each cell. I'm going to use a default, and the defaults are usually android.r. in this case the layout dot simple list item one okay and then the array uh, it's called titles so what this line here is doing is I'm creating an adapter which is a bridge between 
the array titles, which is here, and some list view, because it's going to be an array, an, uh, um, an interface between the titles and the recipes. I'm going to do recipes set adapter, and then this adapter that I created. Right now, I have the data, the view, and something to link the data to a view. And with this line, I link this data, I mean this data, the titles, with this view, the recipes, via an adapter. OK, those are the things that, are do that we're doing here. I'm just going to run this in the, in the emulator, and you'll see it running and what it looks like. We're going to make this more elaborate as we go to actually um, to actually reflect the the actual cookbook with images and recipes and the whole stuff. But first, we need to we need to see it working as a list. I'm going to start little by little. In the next videos, you will see more of it. There it is. There you have it. That's our list. The next videos are going to show you how to improve this and try to make it a real cookbook.